Good evening and welcome to basic chart lesson number two. This is going to cover viewpoint and figure chart in finding support and resistance. Now support can be found at the bottom of every O column. An O column is when the stock is falling. Conversely, resistance can be found at the top of every X column and this of course is when the stock is rising. Now, if we look at where the stock is right now, it's at nine cents, and it's sitting on a very strong support. Anytime you see your um, stock sitting on a support that has more than one O, or a resistance of more than one X, it's considered a stronger support, or a stronger resistance. In this case, at nine cents, this is a pretty good support for this stock. If it breaks through this resistance, it could be creating a whole new area as it did here when the stock fell through that. Now, what you want to look for when you are trying to find support or resistance is you want to find the bottom of your column where the stock is or the top of the column where your stock is. Look to the left and see how many you can find. Now let's say for example that this stock was sitting at 14 cents instead of at 9 cents. If it was sitting here at 14 cents, you look over at 14 cents and you can see here that there are three other zeros that would show you that this was also a very strong support for this stock and you would want to find resistance instead. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to find out where our resistance is and hope that the stock stays where it is. Now to find resistance we look at the top of each X column and we see there's one here at 14 cents. We see there's one at 15 cents and we see there's one here at 16 cents. Now those are going to be the resistances that our stock is going to try and achieve at different times. Um, 14 of course is going to be the first and as we can see there is also another one here at 14 and since a resistance can be a support and a support can be a resistance as well we know that this 14 cents is going to be the biggest resistance that this stock is going to see for a while now what you need to think about at this point is how much um, you're going to be able to move in between the 0 9 and the 14 cents to achieve the amount of money that you are looking for. So if you only play 500 shares, you're not going to get very far with this stock and you might want to consider looking at something else. However, if you have the money to play with 100,000 shares, then this stock might be a very good try for you at this point. So. This is the importance of support and resistance because it enables you to make better choices in your trades and better choices in how much you're going to need to trade. Every stock that you look at, you always need to know where your support is and where your resistance is. This will enable you to make the most out of every trade that you have from now and in the future. Now to explain some of the basics here of this particular chart, this red 9 here is where our stock is sitting at. The numbers and letters inside the chart itself um, are the months of the year. One of course is January, two is February, three is March, and so on until you hit the A's which is October, B which is November, and D which is December. Now the years are down here on the bottom of the chart 
it gives you a very basic idea of where the stock price is you really do have to look at a point and figure chart as more of a map than a um, time chart because all you're watching is the distance that the stock price has traveled it may not move for a very long time as you can see from this portion of the chart it just kind of sat there for a while uh, July goes straight into September and um, <coughs> the stock just completely missed uh, August because it didn't really move now another thing to keep in mind is that when looking at these numbers that a stock can just completely sit at one point and then not even move and then suddenly at the middle of July that's when you start to see movement in the stock and that's when the 7 will pop up so the 7 doesn't mean that this was the beginning of July it just means that this happened during the month of July another thing on this chart that you'll see are diagonals this diagonal happens to represent a resistance and this diagonal happens to represent a support. These are very important uh, lines to keep your eye on because diagonals are just as strong as a support or resistance as a double, triple, or even quadruple resistance and support that you see within the stock itself once a stock goes over the diagonals or under the diagonals it can rise or fall very very fast it's always a good idea to know where those diagonals are and keep your eye on them now if you have any questions about this I can always be reached at raec123 at yahoo.com and thank you for joining this lesson